Starting May 1, our government is going to be instituting a policy that's going to actually try to incentivize borrowers with lower credit scores and lower down payments by adding additional fee to borrowers that have good credit and uh, a larger down payment. So if you have over a 680 credit score and you're putting down 20% and you're borrowing 400,000, the fee will be around $40 per month starting May 1 of this year. Now, I think the, the aim of the policy, of course, is to make homeownership available to more people. But when you think of the issues with homeownership in our country and the barrier to homeownership in our country, there's a lot of low down payment programs available, especially through FHA. Um, but there's not enough housing for people to buy. There's not enough entry level housing. There's not enough first time home buyer housing. We're seeing it in our market. It's such a challenge for that buyer to end up in that first property. That's really the biggest challenge. But this really doesn't do anything to increase the number of properties that are available. And that's a long term issue. That's a long term you know, problem that's not gonna be addressed by any one policy. The other issue I see is we have to be very, very careful incentivizing people that don't have great credit to take out mortgages because if people don't know how to manage their credit, and you could say a lot of things about credit scoring, but for a lot of people, it's just knowledge. A lot of it is just understanding how to manage the algorithm. If our government would spend a little more time educating people, maybe there should be a class in school. There's like five or six great tips and tricks where you can change your credit score in 30 to 60 days without even borrowing more money and not being wealthy. Now, I, people will say that that's not true. It's very, very true, right? And people just need to be made aware of that. I wish that our government would spend more time in that area rather than trying to prop up people that maybe, you know, some of them might not be good at managing debt. You wanna be very careful if you're not good at managing debt when you take out a mortgage because the long-term financial repercussions of that can be really detrimental to people. The last thing I'll say about it is that if you have a lower down payment, we have to continue to bank on the market going up. We have to be very careful that if we incentivize people with very low down payments to buy homes, that if the market takes a step back, and we saw that during the mortgage crisis, that was really a problem for a lot of people. So we just have to hope that the market continues to move up. That said, we've seen some real frothiness in the market over the last few years. So we wanna be careful not to incentivize people to buy homes that are potentially overpriced, because again, those can have a long-term financial repercussions for people. And I know that's not what anybody wants.